Welcome to the Neuropharmacology Practical on uh, Anti-Seizure Drug Screening in Zebrafish. Uh, I'm Dan Hesselson, I'm a researcher at the Garvin Institute and I'll be bringing embryos to uh, the university for this course and I'll be helping out on the, on the day of the class. Uh, behind me are the adult zebrafish that we grow here at, at Garvin and um, these are the fish that we will breed to generate the, the embryos that you'll use um, in the practical. Um, today's this practical is uh, focused on in vivo drug screening in, in live zebrafish embryos and this is important um, uh, this is an important advantage of this of this model system because traditionally drug screening is done in isolated cells or recombinant screening systems, and it's always difficult to predict how the drugs that are found there will um, act in a in a in a live animal. And so, um, by doing uh, primary screens directly in the zebrafish. Um, we have a much uh, greater chance of finding uh, drugs that will have the desired effect in um, larger animals and could possibly eventually humans as well. So uh, we'll be using zebrafish in this practical and we use zebrafish in our research here because um, they're a vertebrate um, model, uh, meaning that they share um, the same body plan and organ system and cell types uh, with um, larger animals and, and humans. And also at the molecular level, um, zebrafish share over 80% of the genes that are known to cause diseases in humans. Okay, so in my group here at Garvin, we use the zebrafish to study a range of diseases including Parkinson's disease and diabetes. Um, in the practical that we'll be conducting, we will use a drug called PPZ to induce seizures in otherwise wild type fish and then co-treat with um, anti-convulsant drugs to see whether we can reduce or uh, eliminate the seizure symptoms in these fish. Uh, this uh, practical will have both bio biological and chemical hazards. Um, you'll need to wear proper PPE, including uh, a lab coat, uh, gloves, as well as closed toe shoes. Um, at the end of the practical, it's important to put all the biological materials into uh, the biological waste and wash your hands properly. Um, the chemical hazards will be the uh, seizure-inducing drug PTZ, as well as the anti-seizure medications and they should be handled as uh, chemical waste. Although in your uh, practical class you'll be scoring one embryo at a time, in the research setting we often will place uh, one embryo in each well of a 96 well plate and score them all concurrently and automatically using uh, an automated tracking system such as this uh, zebra box uh, behind me.